Welcome back to Factorio building the hyperbase. Um, so I'm actually at the module area. Uh, between our episodes, I have actually laid down our 401640 train. It actually fit perfectly, which is nice. Um, I've fueled it up. Uh, I then noticed, well, I powered this lot up, but I then noticed that we actually are missing a bunch of beacons and a heap of modules. So I thought, well, Let's um, load this up with a bunch of beacons and some modules, and while we're in the area coming over here, we may as well get as many of those as we can carry, and uh, carry on our way. Um, now, it does look like we still have some issues here in terms of probably needing to move uh, some of these speed module ones out of the way so that there's room to unload. So we've still got 9,900 uh, processing units on board there, which uh, that's not really ideal. So I guess we'll come back to that in um, the not too distant future to try and sort that out. But let's head down to the steel processing and um, see if we can kind of uh, well, utilize some of these modules for one thing. Might go all the way to the bottom. We probably need to swap over our armors to our um, building set, which we can do now. Actually, I probably should have topped up on uh, bots as well. I might even throw that in there just as a reminder that I actually want to be carrying 200 bots. We're only carrying 150 at the moment. Um, let's get down here to where we are missing stuff. Whoops. Oh, I might need to just pop over here. Grab a bunch of those. At least our armor has had time to or um, well the batteries in the armor rather have had time to recharge. I might possibly have more beacons than I actually require. Um, although that lot I have used the whole lot of, so grab some more. So they only stack to 10, it never seems like you really have that many, but maybe we actually did have plenty. There's one just here, or a couple just here, to place when you're ready, guys. Um, let's just pop over here. I don't think I have... Oh, I do actually have some um, productivity modules there. Not a huge number, though. Let's grab some more speed modules. Yes, our batteries are rapidly getting depleted. I guess as expected. Um, how are we doing? Pretty heavy module drain. I think that must be most of the beacons that we required, though. Uh, this says there are still missing a few, so I guess if we do a slow flyby, we can soon see. Of course, it may not be here that we're missing them. That is the problem with that, when you've left a whole lot of builds sort of half-built. Just have a look up in this section. Don't see a lot of issues with beacons, but modules for sure. Alright, well let's come over here, now that we are out. Let's wait for our... 150 bots to return. There 
we go. And um, grab a few more. Grab a few more modules. See if there's anything else we need to deal with while we're up here. Which perhaps there is. Um, we can swipe the modules from this end. First of all, and then the modules we have at this end. There we go, no modules here. Um, can I put them there? Let me just see if there is uh, something useful I can do here. Not really. Uh, auto trash. There we go. If we free up at least one of these um, slots for what we have guaranteed via the Um, filter inserter, that one should be fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, fine. Uh, over time it will clear out completely and All of the processing units will be able to be unloaded, which is the main thing. And then we probably need to stop it uh, loading up on um, that's all of them anyway. Loading up on uh, the speed module ones in the first place. At least this way it's building more. It's making the most of those other 9,000 or so. At least very slowly is. Um, a bit of luck, these things will also uh, be removed slowly over time, but we can certainly leave it like that for now uh, and get back to our modulling up. Operations, such as it is. Right. Oh, yes, of course. So the modules are in there at this point. We can probably swap beacons for modules, since that's mainly what we need. Let's pop down here. Um, and 
back here as well. Obviously we're a little bit uh, starved of productivity modules still. Um, and over here... how many more modules we might require. Uh -huh. Ah, here we go. Bunch of <laughs> bunch more speed modules required. Um, some power apparatus. There we go. So it looks like all of this is unnecessary. Um, but that is a good start. So now I think what we want to do, I might just flick all those back into there, is let's swap these guys back over so I have a little bit of mobility. Um, Godfather obviously isn't going to do. These should be called... What do we call these? Copper smelt one. Steel. Maybe steel smelt. Steel smelt one, steel smelt two, something like that. These ones up here, um, uh, iron pickup. B iron B iron three and four maybe B iron three B iron four uh, and the train can go to B iron three until inventory full, then go to steel smelt one until inventory empty, then go to B iron four until inventory full, and then go to steel smelt two until inventory empty. Uh, and let's go. Whoops. Go there. Nice. Oh, we are missing some things just there. Um, okay. Let's run down there and sort that out. Trees. <laughs> True Factorio enemy.
And off we go. So it should go to uh, B iron 4 at this point. Hopefully it lines up perfectly. Looks like it does. So meanwhile these ones are stocking up. But, um, I guess the thing is, I've sort of calculated out that I need, uh, I said 22, but that's 22 of the mining operation, it's not so much 22, uh, sorry, of the smelting operation, it's not necessarily 22 of the mining operation, so maybe we can... Because I think they're going to take quite a while, actually, to process once they're in the smelting area. Um, which carriage looks like it's still still loading? None of them. And off we go. And hopefully we've got uh, oh they don't have any power okay but otherwise we should have three unloading on every part of it okay where am I I'm down here um, where are the ones missing the power It's better. So yes, I think the processing of these is going to be um, relatively slow. So what I think I'll do is I will get uh, maybe 2,000 of the these guys and uh, put 500 in each one and see how that goes as far as getting the iron smelting or the, the steel smelting there so it's ore all the way to steel see if that is enough to make it all happen. Uh, how's this one going? Might as well pass by the modules and see if you have no processing units left you might as well head home. And we'll have to fix that up this episode as well I think. Um, we don't want for the train to just get loaded up with speed module ones and that to be kind of the end of the story. I'll actually fly this all the way back to base. So I've got room for my 2000 Modules, I'll have to end up on this thing. Uh, not modules, of course, we're talking about um, those other things. The, <laughs> the robots, of course, the robots. Um, so here we are. 
many robots do we actually have here? Not enough. That's 1,200. One, two, three, four, four fifty. Um, four fifty. Five, one thousand, eleven hundred, twelve hundred. At least they're pretty quick. Let's raise the number up a little bit though because obviously we are putting some heavier demand on them than we had been. It's just taking a second or so for each one. Well, I don't want to hold you guys up while we just sit here waiting. So, well, I guess we're going to have a quick look at how some other things are going. How's this row going? That looks like we are uh, six, and we've laid the seventh one down. So, certainly getting there. How is this supply? Very healthy, actually. This is the thing, when it gets very near the top, you've got the bulk of your bots is somewhere between here and um, up here. Delivering, but they can only deliver to a, well, obviously where the, the green is, and then once they've done that, that will then give them the next segment and so on. But it certainly has less impact than having sort of 3,000 bots and laying down a whole lot manually and um, have them try to do the whole thing. If you look at the construction manager, it's not really hurting us at all at the moment. So that's all good. Um, how are we going? We need one, two, three, four, five. We need about another 250. But it looks like it's slowed down at this point. I guess we'll go with what we've got. Um, like I said, I can, I can probably, between episodes, uh, bring out some more bots. Or maybe we can use less bots in each location. Start with 400, see how that goes. sort of thing. I probably should have uh, gotten rid of <coughs> gotten rid of some of the stuff, but I guess we'll place it um, in one of these locations just in case I've got the wrong armor on. No, we are safe. Okay, that's good. I don't want half my bots to be left behind full complement at this point. Um, okay, let's do something about this. While we are here, uh, I might just rip up, and I could just turn them to the side, but We're obviously getting too many speed modules into the Pi, and that is resulting in it's 
some things not getting built. All right. That should be better. Three fifty, four hundred. Three fifty, four hundred. Three fifty looks like we're slightly short here. But otherwise not too bad. Now I kind of um Are we requesting steel? No. Well, we need to fix up the requests so that they are steel. Um, good. Yes, you should not be that at all. You should be a 1.4 steel. Trees knocked me off course slightly, but that's all okay. All right, and uh, over here, the same thing, of course. Oh, we've actually ended up with some uh, iron plate down there. That's no good at all. We all have to go back and fix that. quite sure how that happened because there shouldn't be an ability to deliver um, iron plate there unless it had sort of got into a storage chest or something. Um, here. And here. sure how it happened, but we certainly need to clean it out. Um, there we go. Okay. Oh, we're missing a steel chest. grab some of the steel from here, make some steel chests, put these guys on,
So it looks like we're actually missing a few steel chests here that I didn't realise. That's okay, let's grab the steel. And just make some as we go. Uh, it seems to have stopped, so maybe it's not an issue anymore. Or maybe just not down there. About up here. If we ever get there. I've got 50. Doesn't seem to be a problem. Probably mentioned at the end of an episode or something, oh yes, and we better get some more steel chests, but never followed through on it. Let's see if we're missing any down here. So far it doesn't look like it. sure if we did the full bottom part of this so just for completeness let's do that doesn't say it's missing any there does it no well we may have avoided that issue at this point, which is good. Where is my plane? Up the top. All right, let's just run through this side just one last time to make sure that uh, we got all of the steel chests that we are missing in this side. We probably did. Well, I guess that's that then. Um, in that case, what I might do is grab some beacons and um, fill out this area, perhaps. It's kind of our closing act. We'll use them. Grab some speed modules as well. Check what this is doing to power, if anything. We're over 5 gigawatts of demand. Almost up to 9 of supply, but yeah, I kind of... Um, I'm not all that surprised that... Uh, this rapid expansion of uh, beacons and modules is uh, causing quite a rise in our usage of energy. Um, I guess the thing is, though, are we recharging these guys at the same time? No. So it's just a legit burn of 5.5 .5 gigawatts. Yeah. 3.8 in beacons by themselves. There you go, if you needed any proof that beacons are thirsty. It's right there. How's this going? Uh, 7.4. Probably take a while. Um, 
I don't know how long this episode has been going for, but uh, maybe I can dump this stuff in here. Good home, I guess. Um, the other thing we probably need to do is come back to oil and fix up uh, this area because, um, yeah, this guy is going to need to be refueled. Um, I probably should set up either a car or a tank manufacturer to change this over. because um, that's clearly why uh, you end up using such things. It's the only way to make up for the odd number and the even numbers that the railway lines want to sit in and the uh, odd number sized um, chemical plants and the like. So yeah, that's something else we should do. Uh, what are you guys doing? Just dumping down those things. I suppose that's fine. Especially since I want it done at some point. Uh, while it's doing that, I might just see uh, what have we got another 19 productivity there and a another well 92 there it's not too bad oh guys you coming back 50 radio um so yeah that will do us for this episode thanks for joining me Look forward to seeing you next time. Um, we'll press ahead. Uh, f probably fix up oil. Probably set up a car or tank uh, manufacturer. Let's, let's just have a quick look what they're going to cost in terms of resources. Where is the car? Car. Eight engines. Tank. 32 engines. Hmm much cheaper to build cars. Maybe I'll make cars. See how that works for us. But anyway, see you next time guys. Bye bye for now.